O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus. We adore you, Lord Jesus. We glorify you, Lord Jesus. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 1, verse 24 says, When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife. Here we find that Joseph become an instrument of God, denying himself, willingly accept the will of God. In the true devotion to Blessed Virgin Mary 81 and 82 says, in order to empty ourselves, we must die to ourselves daily. That is to say, we must renounce the operations of the powers of our soul and of the sense of our body. We must see as if we saw not, understand as if we understood not, and we make use of the things of this world as if we made no use them at all. If we die not to ourselves, if we, our holiest devotions do not incline us this necessary and useful death, we shall bring forth no fruit worth anything, and our devotions will become useless. We must choose, therefore, among all the devotions to the Blessed Virgin, the one which draws us most towards the step to ourselves. In as much as it will be the best and the most sanctifying. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Saint John chapter 12 verse 24 The first duty of a Christian, of a disciple and the follower of Christ, is to deny himself. To deny oneself means to give up one's bad habits, to root out of the heart all that ties us to the world, not to cherish bad desires and thoughts, to quench and suppress bad thoughts, to avoid occasions of sin, not to do or desire anything of self-love but to do everything out of love of God. To deny oneself means, according to the Apostle Paul, to be dead to sin and the world, but alive to God. Says Saint Innocent of Alaska, As we are journeying with Mother Mary, let us ask the grace to deny ourselves the areas where we go wrong. 
a deeper understanding of our own bad habits the root cause that is affecting us today i would like to pray for each and every one of you who are participating in this holy adoration i would like to pray for your families your relatives your friends all those who need our prayers all the people who are suffering all the people who are sick i would like to specially pray for all the departed souls from our families Queen of Grace pray for us let's ask mother mary the queen of grace to intercede for us now let's bow in adoration lord jesus christ you gave us the eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death may our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the father and the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen <laughs>